Alright guys, what is going on? In the last video you saw me spray the fenders on the Mark 1 Rabbit and uh, today we're doing the hood, but first there is something I must confess. I did not use PPG single stage aerosol paint because that does not exist. I used everyone's favorite $3.83 a can Rust-Oleum from Walmart and today we're going to take another method that people disapprove of and we're going to roll on some gloss Rust-Oleum black for the hood. So first we're going to take it off. Alright, the hood is off, so now we just got to get the remaining Plasti Dip off and then we're going to show you how we mix the paint and how we apply it. And the goal today is probably about three coats if we have enough paint, but I'm not sure if we will. It's always a team effort. Everyone's going to pitch in and help get the Plasti Dip off. So just a friendly reminder, if you're Plasti Dipping your car, make sure you use enough Plasti Dip. <laughs> Otherwise you go through this. It's a lot of fun, but not really. Alright, so we're going to use mineral spirits to thin our paint. And I use a 60 paint to 40 thinner ratio because 50-50 is a little too thin. And we're going to do 12 ounces for the first coat, which hopefully will be enough. If you guys want to fact check me here and check my math, it'd be 4.8 ounces of thinner. So that's between 4 and 6, it'll be close enough. And then 7.2 paint. We'll just shake up the paint here. Pop it open. Grab the stick and mix it up a little bit too, just to make sure. Alright. And then we're just going to bring it up to 12 ounces. There we are. And then we're going to mix it again. You want it to be pretty watery. That way it'll level out and smooth itself out real nice. And make sure you're using a foam high density roller. We're using a nine inch one since the hood's separate from the car. But if you have to be more precise, I highly recommend the three inch one. All right, guys, here we go. Rust-Oleum rolling. Now when you put it on, it'll come out bubbly, it'll look bubbly, that's pretty normal. It'll smooth itself out. It's got funky shapes, make sure you cover everything. Oh shit. Try not to pull the hood off what it's sitting on. Like I almost did.
All right, I think that about does it for the first coat. All right, so this is our feeble attempt at cleaning this roller out. Just spraying some lacquer thinner directly into it. And it actually is showing the yellow. This might work. And then we're going to rinse it out with the hose. And hopefully it'll be good enough to use again. All right, so I think we got it clean enough that we'll be able to use it again. It kind of held some of the color, but I got some cool leopard prints now. Ooh. Nice tattoos. Sick. All right, guys, here we go. Second coat, and we had some pooling issues, so this is going to be our last coat for the day. We're going to wet sand it and then come back and do more. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching this video. It's a pretty short one, but it's just a little update on how we're doing, what it's coming along like. Uh, it's going to take some pretty serious wet sanding and we might even need to use a slightly thicker formula next time because there's a couple runs on the edges, but sanding fixes everything, right? Uh, go ahead and click right up here somewhere. Is that in the top corner? Yes, it is. Hey, perfect. All right, I'm getting good at that. <laughs> click right here if you want to subscribe, see where this paint job goes, see how it comes out or if I break something. If you want to curse forever, send me a message. A 10 inch by 1.5 inch is only $3. Four dollars including shipping if you're not local. And uh, yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. Leave us a comment, a like, and tell us how stupid it is to paint a car with spray paint and a roller and stuff. Because it's, I love it. You guys have a good night and see you in the next video. So, we pulled off all of these bolts only to find out that we could have just pried the turbo down and now it moves around freely and we can pull it out. What a waste of time. Time is money. And we're going broke.